I don't quite believe yet what I'm about to say. We're going to play Super Mario Odyssey and Zelda Breath of the Wild in virtual reality. Yes, the upcoming Nintendo Labo VR kit is going to be supported by Super Mario Odyssey and Zelda Breath of the Wild. Everything that you need to know is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. If this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about VR and air as me, then subscribe now and click the bell button so you don't miss anything. Oh my goodness, can this be real or am I still dreaming? Nintendo of America has tweeted a video that we're going to watch together very soon. And in this video, they tell us that Super Mario Odyssey and Zelda Breath of the Wild are going to support the upcoming Nintendo Labo VR kit. For all of you who don't yet know what is the Nintendo VR Labo kit, it is actually one of those um, toys, one of those cardboard toys that you have to assemble. So basically it is some kind of cardboard VR headset that we believed is only going to play like 64 mini games that come with the Nintendo VR Labo kit, but that is not true. It seems that Nintendo is much more serious with the Nintendo VR Labo kit and it seems like, no, we know now that we're going to play Super Mario Odyssey and Zelda Breath of the Wild in VR. Oh my goodness. According to that little trailer that we're going to watch together in a moment, it seems that for Super Mario Odyssey, there's going to be additional little levels, like bite-sized levels that we'll be able to play. But for Zelda Breath of the Wild, it seems like we could play the whole adventure in VR. Oh my goodness, again. So without further ado, let's have a look at the trailer. All right, let's do this together. So here we go. Nintendo Labo Toy-Con VR Kit Super Mario Odyssey. And, well, join Mario for a bite-sized bonus experience in simple family-friendly VR. So it seems like we have like little, little games, collect music notes and coins to complete objectives in three new mini-missions. And revisit the Cap, Seaside and Luncheon Kingdoms. So these are going to be some mini-games where you have to, yeah, collect coins and uh, musical notes. And yeah, it seems like like a Mario adventure or at least little levels. Look at how colorful this is. And I can't quite uh, wait to play this myself. And now Zelda. And for Zelda, it seems we'll be able to play the whole adventure in virtual reality. Enjoy this epic adventure like never before. The whole epic adventure. And um, yeah. Seems like we can look around just like we used to do and it's easy to simply turn this on and off as this trailer shows us. And it does remind me a bit of Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice and we know how amazing Hellblade worked. And um, to be able to play the whole Zelda and the vast kingdom of Hyrule in virtual reality, it is quite unbelievable to me. Again, is that really happening? Are we going to play Super Mario and Zelda in VR? Oh my friggin' goodness. I myself, I'm a huge Nintendo fan and I told you that more than once and I can't wait. So everything is going to go down starting from the 12th April when the Nintendo Labo VR kit is available that we can buy the VR headset. And it seems like now it is kind of a must buy accessory, right? So. You will be able to get the basis, the basic kit for $40 and this should be enough to, to play um, Super Mario and Zelda or the whole kit for $80 with all these funny attachments, the, the elephant trunk and the bird and everything for $80. And well, on 12th April, you will be able to purchase it. Now, the games, these add-ons to Super Mario Odyssey and Zelda Breath of the Wild, they will be available on 25th of April, completely free of charge. So if you already own Super Mario Odyssey and Zelda Breath of the Wild, you'll be able to play them in VR for free. So to summarize again, everything you need to play Super Mario Odyssey and Zelda Breath of the Wild is 
the following. You will need the Nintendo Switch gaming console. You will need Super Mario Odyssey and you will need Zelda Breath of the Wild and you will need the basic Nintendo Labo VR kit that is coming out on 12th of April and the free updates for Super Mario Odyssey and for Zelda Breath of the Wild will come out on 25th of April. If you want to purchase any of them, you can do so on Amazon and the link is in the description below. For all of you who have never heard of the Nintendo Labo VR kit, let me give you a short primer. So the Nintendo Labo series is an interesting series of cardboard toys that you have to build together yourself and then you will get some interesting controllers or some contraptions where you put the Nintendo Switch into it or where you put the controllers into it and then you have some interesting way of interacting with games that were specifically built for for these toys and well for the Nintendo Labo VR kit it's coming up again as I told you on 12th of April and yeah these are VR goggles like cardboard VR goggles with some interesting input uh, mechanisms like this elephant with a trunk or or like a bird and that is all really really interesting but until now we had not expect to have like um, blockbuster games like Mario and Zelda support this accessory and we simply thought it is an interesting game by itself that it would have some 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 games that work just for this but we had not expect expected that this would actually be um, yeah, usable for games like Mario and Zelda. As you can tell, I am excited. However, I'm also wondering how are you going to play these games? For those little bite-sized Super Mario Odyssey game sessions, I could believe that you simply hold the device like this for the whole time. But if you want to play Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is like an epic adventure that you have to play for hours and hours, I'm, I'm not quite sure if it's actually feasible to hold the device to your head like this all of the time. And unfortunately, the Nintendo Labo VR kit is not a VR headset that you would be able to strap onto your face. So you have to hold it to your face all of the time. And um, I don't quite see this happening for Zelda, that I would be playing this for hours like this. So... I hope that some hackers are going to come up with some solutions to that so that we can still strap this on and play this with, with our controller or that somebody is going to build some completely new VR headset and somehow hack Zelda into it or that we can play Zelda on our current VR headsets with some kind of emulation going on. I believe that the magic is going to happen and I can't wait for it. So now I really want to know from you, are you excited about playing Zelda and Super Mario Odyssey in VR? Or do you think it's going to be a bit tough since there are too many restrictions playing it like this? I can't wait to hear from you, so please do leave your comment in the comment section below. That's everything for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode.